In this video, we will learn how to find the radius of an atom and we're going to use Avogadro's method. Okay, according to Avogadro's hypothesis, it says the actual volume occupied by the atoms in one gram substance is two third of the volume of one gram of a substance. That means there is some empty space in one gram of a substance. Let's say these are the atoms and they make up one gram of that substance and you see there are empty spaces and even when we say let's say this is a nucleus of an atom and there is electrons revolving around it and there is empty space in it so the actual volume that is occupied by atoms is basically two-thirds of the volume of that one gram of a substance okay so we're going to use this hypothesis of Avogadro to find the radius of an atom all right so first of all let's say let's say m be the molecular weight of a substance so m be the molecular weight of a substance any substance okay so in general we are calculating the radius molecular weight of a substance okay and and it will contain n atoms so it will contain n number of atoms okay which is basically equal to 6.02 10 raised to power 23 and this is called Avogadro's number Avo Avogadro's number okay so we say let m be the molecular weight of a substance and it contain an atom and n is equal to Avogadro number which is 6.02 into 10 raised to power 23 so therefore number of atoms in one gram so let's say so therefore number of atoms in one gram are going to be equal to n over m okay and now let's say r is the radius of each atom r is equal to radius of each atom then volume of an atom is going to be volume of an atom is going to be 4 over 3 pi r cube okay so volume of atoms in one gram so let's calculate volume of atoms in one gram is equal to n over m into 4 over 3 pi r cube because n over m gives me number of atoms in 1 gram and if I multiply it by the volume of one atom that gives me the volume of atoms in 1 gram okay now let's introduce another uh, parameter let's say rho it looks a little weird but okay so rho be the density of the substance okay be the density of the substance then we're gonna find the volume of the substance using the density then volume of let's say v is the volume volume of one gram of substance v is going to be equal to one over rho mass over the density gives him the volume and mass is one gram so i put one over rho over here 
So according to Avogadro's hypothesis, it says volume occupied the atoms and we calculated it over here. So volume occupied by the atoms is equal to two third of a volume of one gram of a substance. So this is the volume occupied by the atoms and this is the volume of the substance one gram of a substance so that means this number is equal to two-third of this number over here so let's write it down cube here so that gives me n over m 4 over 3 pi r cube which is actual volume occupied by the atom is equal to two-third of the volume occupied sorry two-third of the volume of one gram of a substance which is one over rho two-third of one over rho and if we rearrange all of these factors that gives me radius R, so I'm going to keep R on one hand side and move all the factors to the other and solve it. That gives me R is equal to M molecular weight over 2 pi. N is the Avogadro number and rho is the density of any particular substance raised to power 1 third. So this is the formula you can use to find the radius of any atom if you know the molecular weight and if you know the density of that particular substance all right thanks for watching the videos guys i hope you enjoy it and please share with your friends and do not forget to subscribe the channel that way you won't miss any other video thank you have a good day bye bye